According to British media reports, Iran told Hezbollah to escalate attacks on Israel amid fears Lebanon will be hit harder. Under the leadership of Ali Khamenei, the Iranian regime is afraid Lebanon will be next in Israel's firing line and has decided to act first by reportedly ordering Hezbollah to attack Israel. Iran has ordered militant group Hezbollah the go-ahead to launch a large-scale attack on Israel, it has been reported. Described in Israeli media as October 7, Part 2, the very high wave of terror is likely to escalate. On Israel's northern border, the Jerusalem Post explains that the order was made after the country became aware of Israel's reported plans to invade the southern Gaza city of Rafah. Israel has started almost daily missile fire, with Hezbollah hitting locations in south Lebanon, but the Israel Defense Force has not started a ground invasion. However, high official in American President Joe Biden's government told CNN, we are operating in the assumption that an Israeli military operation is in the coming months. Very shortly, earlier today, an Israeli strike hit a Hezbollah truck near the Lebanese-Syrian border killing at least one fighter, security source said. Just last week, Iranian officials who met with their Hezbollah counterparts in Lebanon appreciated the terror group's ongoing attacks on northern Israel but warned against escalating to all-out war, a Hezbollah member told the Washington Post recently. According to the report, Tehran knows its allies in the axis of resistance have been victorious since October 7, having stopped normalization efforts between Israel and Saudi Arabia and with the international community. Now focused on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, Israeli leader is squeezed in the corner now. Don't give him a way out. Let us not give him the benefit of launching a wider war, because this would make him a winner. The Iranian agent told Hezbollah, war already had erupted between Israel and Hamas. On October 7, when some 3,000 Hamas members burst across the border into Israel from the Gaza Strip by land, air, and sea, killing some 1,200 people and seizing 253 hostages, mostly military, entire families, were executed in their homes, and over 360 people were killed at an outdoor festival. Israel subsequently launched a massive military attack involving airstrikes and ground invasion of Gaza Strip, which it said was to destroy Hamas. A humanitarian crisis has ensued, with thousands of civilians forced to flee. The fighting, today Gaza's health, ministry said more than 30,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza since 7 October. Meanwhile, Hezbollah-led forces have attacked Israeli communities and military posts along the border on a near-daily basis, with the group saying it is doing so to support Gaza due to the Israeli war there. The latest news related to Hezbollah includes the following updates. Iran's green light for escalation Ron has reportedly given Hezbollah the go-ahead to escalate attacks along Israel's northern border. This decision came after Israel's plans to invade the southern Gaza city of Rafah became known, raising concerns that southern Lebanon could be the next target. U.S. officials have also warned of a potential ground invasion. Cease fire signal. Hezbollah has signaled that it will cease its attacks on Israel from Lebanon once the Israeli offensive on the Gaza Strip stops. However, the group remains prepared to continue fighting if Israel persists with hostilities. Cautious approach, while Hezbollah has pledged support to Hamas following Israel's declaration of war, it has taken a more cautious approach in recent weeks, possibly to avoid crossing a red line that could threaten the group's existence. These developments highlight the ongoing tensions and complexities in the region.